welcome to the syntax sugar causes cancer the semicolon talk. That's sucrose, glucose, and fructose uh, glued together. Um, let's just make sure we're all in the same uh, in the same room. Um, <clears throat> some classic examples. Uh, who can tell me what this desugarizes into? Let me see. Uh, Thank you, Shlomi. Um, <coughs> so, a uh, classic example of sugarizing. Uh, notice some uh, characteristics of uh, syntactic sugar, something we're sort of trying to define here. Uh, that it, uh, we, we have no new abstractions here. Uh, we have no uh, more powerful features. Uh, nothing, just syntax. Uh, in sugar, Shlomi, no, not you. Uh, you agree? Um, this, uh, be sugarizes into that. It's a nice, really neat syntax for set setters. Uh, in Perl, uh, who can tell me what this uh, de sugarizes into? Going prior, thank you. Uh, this should be de sugarizes uh, into that. Uh, and in Python, uh, I'm sorry, we don't do that kind of shit here. That's just crazy Perl. Up and we don't do it, and uh, that often in our mailing list comes up a question, uh, should I use Perl or Python uh, for my project? I have a project, a new project, my boss, uh, I need to tell him if I should use uh, Perl or uh, Python, and uh, people come up with all these uh, differences, but it's a probably something in the eyes also. Uh, for example, um, there was a, I saw a message on the internet where a guy said, uh, Listen, I'm using QW in Perl, and in Python, I'm, I'm writing a string, it's separated by spaces, and in the end, I'm writing a dot split. Is this the idiomatic way? It doesn't feel natural. And uh, the Python people pulled it on him. This is exactly why Perl is uh, bad. Um, uh, this is why, why would I need a new construct for this? You're saving three characters, uh, question mark, exclamation mark, Three question marks, four exclamation marks, and five exclamation marks. Um, 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 you are completely wrong. This is not uh, Python esque way. Uh, you did not miss any kind of Python magic. And for them, they, they use magic. We use magic in various positive ways. For, for them, it seems like magic is always death magic. Um, so, uh, but what about intent and uh, elegance and clarity? I don't know. But Python and Perl, we are very good friends. And uh, come to our meetings, and we always discuss our friendship. Are there any journalists in the crowd? There's something that uh, in Israel, uh, some ministers sometimes ask when they want to say the truth. So um, I don't want to define it because definitions are uh, boring, but it was in 1964, a Peter Landing guy who was a cyclist. So be nice to cyclists when you're riding in your car, please. Um, and he came up with, the sh with it's, it's amazing because he came up with the idea for a language which he didn't have a computer or a compiler for. He just uh, made up the language which he wrote and um, compiled in his brain. That already he needed syntax sugar, uh, even though it, it was no computer there. And uh, I, also, it's problem. What is syntax sugar? It's got some uh, characters, but uh, um, is everything just syntax sugar over binary? There's, you can take that view. I don't want to get into the uh, uh, no two Scotsman fallacy. In Hebrew, we call it paradoxa uh, kireach. One person with one hair is uh, definitely not bald, and definitely adding one hair to a person who is, uh, is, is bald would not make him hairy. So there are no hairy people. Because, uh, if you, but, uh, so that's a, in philosophy, they know it's a problem with the definition. Um, so uh, the definition is not clear. We'll talk about sugary things. I don't want to uh, quit. Uh, about the definition. Um, I was asked yesterday in, in the pub where we went with some uh, mongols. <coughs> another reason you should go to uh, mongols meetings and pub because excellent conversation. Um, uh, are there examples of syntax sugar in other fields? We thought maybe ligatures in typo typography and definitely in math many times you'll hear the mathematician say uh, parentheses, uh, I'm not writing them uh, when there are, uh, it's just sugar here, you can remove them and very, various other types of sugar that are used in math. And uh, why do we call it uh, syntactic sugar? We have analogies. Why, why do we use analogies if they help us reveal something about what they're pointing at? What does uh, sugar give up? Uh, uh, Bring up in your brain that te tells us something about syntax sugar. Dentist. He's <laughs> <laughs> right. He's right. The pain, the deadliness of uh, sugar. Uh, the dentist. Uh, uh, what's the disease called? Sakharet. Diabetes. Diabetes. Uh, yes. 
Good. One, de definitely. That's in the, what else uh, sugar evocative of? Uh, why do we use it? Good for the sugar. Yeah, uh, taste. Tastes better. Uh, more palpable. Um, so, but no nutrition. <laughs> of course. So we're talking about the least important thing in programming. You're here talking, spending time, your important time, about the least important, no nutrition thing in programming. Uh, and of course, there's the uh, dangerous thing, uh, dangerous aspect of sugar. Uh, let, let's look at a really t tiny example of why sugar can be really dangerous. Say you have an i9 file and you have their uh, um, key values like color pink and pattern flowers and you notice a repeating pattern. Uh, this combination appeals a lot. So you think I'll sugarize it, I'll macro, it will be called hot. Every time hot is written, then it's actually these. <coughs> uh, you're creating, it, it's a good thing, right? It's more palatable, but you're, it's also very dangerous. Say, you have now hot and you also have uh, cold for uh, uh, color blue and pattern flowers. But uh, someone wants both hot and cold and he's a beginner and he doesn't know or she does not know that they stand and they will put them one after the other and they, they have a, some kind of collision on the pattern key. Uh, think about two people like Gabo and people who write in Padre who now, now have to, they go to syntax highlighter, now they have to, um, okay, I will write a special case. It's a, a can of worms. Um, and of course, the, uh, um, the name of the talk was given in uh, 1982. It was uh, by a guy, uh, Alan Pellis. That's Pellis in the name. Um, so it's very dangerous. And, uh, another danger is when you're designing an API. Uh, think about you, the team that's supposed to design the CSS standard. Um, you want to design the standard so it's good, so you can, so you can uh, lay out and style things really good, but you also want it to be very sugary and nice. Uh, if you confuse these two problems together, <coughs> uh, you'll have a horrible standard. So it's uh, really good to think about these as different concerns. Think about the CSS object model, then think about sugar. Sugar is a, is a, is a dangerous thing. It's brain craft. It helps your thinking about uh, API design, for example. Um, and uh, so that, that's the syntax side. And what does palatable mean? Uh, it's, uh, it's an engineering thing, and engineering is about, con about forces pulling in different directions. Um, does anyone here remember the Pearl Mongols talk that Pinchas Misanov gave about trees? Huh. Mm -hmm. Two people, huh? No? <laughs> Pinchas remembers it? <laughs> Three. 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 Uh, that was a, a, an entire uh, system for uh, which is uh, um, all about conflicts and looking at systems and engineering uh, as a conflict. So um, some of the conflicts are related to uh, sugar. So sugar is definitely the least important thing uh, in programming. I know that because I searched uh, a web search engine, and usually it appears as meal sugar, or just sugar, or only sugar. People, when they submit uh, some patch to an open source project and they don't want to appear high profile and attract too many eyes, and they say, this patch is just sugar, it is not a new feature. Uh, so it's definitely the least important uh, uh, thing in programming. Um, <clears throat> um, uh, these are some of the quotes you will find on the internet when people are talking about sugar. When uh, my roommate is a C++ uh, programmer, and when I told him about this uh, <coughs> talk, um, he told me, why, why, why are you doing this? Program, do something uh, good. Why are you dealing with, uh, with syntax and how things look? Uh, has anyone here ever um, felt that from someone, uh, or himself, <laughs> this feeling of, well, this syntax sugar, it's silly, it's, it's feeling it's, no, no one can relate to it. I can relate to it very much, I've seen it in others, seeing people uh, running around their tails, trying to sugarize uh, something, um, and um, now they sugarize here, and then here it's less sugar, so it's crazy. Uh, on the other hand, it's definitely the most important thing in programming. <laughs> Because uh, imagine uh, one of the, there are several terms related to syntax sugar which are used. Um, one like uh, syntax salt, uh, and one of them is a uh, or syntax <coughs> saccharine. One of them is candy grammar. That's uh, um, uh, referring in a joke to um, COBOL syntax, where you write uh, one plus P L U S 
before. Uh, imagine if you had to write your pearl, your saint, tomorrow. The whole world changed, and pearl is written in it's the same thing, same community, same everything, same C pattern. <coughs> just the syntax has changed to this. I would commit suicide in the most uh, way possible rather than live in such a universe. <coughs> it's obviously the most important thing in the world. Uh, search CPAN for the words sugar and sweet. Uh, it is a very popular word. Not only in module names, in uh, descriptions of uh, modules and everywhere. You have uh, there's an entire uh, pattern in system in uh, CPAN of it where people. Uh, and there's a module, say, in my class, and someone writes the implementation, and someone else writes a sugar layer. Who here has ever written a sugar layer? Like, I, you're using some third-party software. Oh, it's nice, but for my style, this is more sugary. I've done it often. I know people who obsessively cannot use any third-party component without, first of all, sugarizing it to their exact specific taste. Um, so uh, definitely sugar is the most important thing in the world. <clears throat> um, and also there's issue, uh, is sugar really in the language? Uh, shouldn't, shouldn't a good language be, you don't need sugar for it because it's so perfectly designed that every expression you can write it, uh, every thought you can express it in the most uh, succinct, the most sugary, nice way with a minimal amount of repetition. Um, does that make sense? No, I think there's a problem with that because uh, uh, you can't plan for everything. Uh, Larry Ward, for example, in Perl 6, he's uh, spr not sprinkling, he's pouring sugar, not only sugar, but meta sugar and uh, uh, syntax to create meta sugar APIs and uh, uh, etc. Uh, because he's saying, uh, I do not know all types of sugar and tastes and situation and contexts. Um, uh, people must be creative and find their own thing. Um, <clears throat> and also, uh, sugar is perhaps not so important. I don't think that this you ever get a Google, Amazon, Microsoft job interview where you will be asked a question about syntax sugar. Uh, you'll never be, I don't know, it's lots of CPAN modules, but never ask it in interviews. Uh, I'm not sure if it's important or not. Um, uh, by the way, entire languages like CoffeeScript, which are really in the reason for existence, they claim we are just sugar over JavaScript. Um, is it which is more fun to talk about as programmers, sugar or algorithms? I guess. Uh, would you consider uh, graphical ID environments uh, sugar over Makefiles? Could be. Uh, I don't know. Are they bold or heavy? It's. Um, it's Somebody told me that he was asked at a Microsoft job interview about that. He, he was asked how he would uh, do a particular task, and he said he would write a make file. Uh, they said, no, you're supposed to do it the Microsoft way in Visual Studio. Create a project along that. So I guess that's a question about sugar, and there goes another theory. I don't think that they use the, the word sugar, but it's comparable. Yeah, so I guess there are some uh, my, uh, interview questions about it. Um, when you t when we talk about uh, when we talk about programming, right? We we like to talk about programming, and uh, which is more fun, talking about sugar? Hey, uh, writing on black hole. Check out this new syntax. Foo bar? No. Now we can write it foo. <laughs> uh, or do we? Is it more fun to talk about algorithms and design architectural patterns and, and use cases and all these things? And, <coughs> One does not require too much thinking. It's, you can just, basically, it's an artistic uh, judgment thing. So maybe that's why it's important, because we are vain, maybe. Um, <clears throat> and, and lots of people asked me before the talk, uh, oh, you're giving a, uh, you're talking about syntax sugar. That's an interesting topic. Uh, what's the um, latest um, view on that? Is that positive or not? It's like, <laughs> like this is a pair of shoes. Why are wearing the, the fashion book shoes now? Or, or not? Is it because I'm not sure? Like, uh, um, I, I hope now we understand. I personally really love sugar. So our plan is uh, to, if, once I know how much time we have left, uh, the off schedule is so, like ten minutes, five, minutes, <coughs> seven, seven more minutes, seven. Fun. Okay. So we're done with the introduction. Uh, in five minutes, uh, uh, so, so we're talking about things from the bowel of hell, from CPAN.
uh, really good company. They have a QA department. The QA department, um, like, uh, they uh, <clears throat> put their code in a nice hierarchical place. This is a good way to write your code, um, uh, to, to name your packages. So and this is uh, the uh, name of the class which does stress tests for the product buying uh, <laughs> tests. Uh, can anyone see something slightly wrong with this slide? Something <laughs> smelly? <laughs> No, looks fine to me. <laughs> looks fine to you. So, uh, the Python class is... Uh, no, uh, no, Python has a lot of syntax sugar, by the way. So, uh, three specific things which they call syntax sugar. Uh, so, there's an entire group of packages on CPAN just to sugarize that. Because on CPAN, uh, you can't have one. Uh, never. Um, uh, so, uh, for example, uh, this sugarizes into that. <coughs> Much nicer. And I uh, think that's... Uh, anyone want to guess how many uh, different solutions are to this problem on CPAN? Yeah. Uh, not you, Rafael, because you're in the list, so you probably looked at that one. Um, anyone want to guess? It's not difficult to guess a number. 30. It's, uh, less than me, what? 30. 30. 20? Not bad. It was like, almost. Like, uh, something like 10. <coughs> Here are six of the nice ones which I saw. Um, uh, just uh, who, who has this problem, by the way? My package names are too long and I write them too many times in my code. It's not a totally common problem because some people script and may not have it. Uh, for example, noticing that it's not a very common problem, I will not talk about this slide. Next. Uh, uh, so our package names are really short now. Uh, um, our code, our package names are really short. Uh, this is a problem because, say, I have a, uh, I'm de demonstrating my lib entry point, and I have a script, one script, two, a demo script, and another demo script, and another demo script, and they all have this heading. Uh, what is the problem here? Uh, Self revision. Does anyone have that problem? Because if you don't have the other problem with long package names, you surely write script, and you have this problem. <laughs> it's impossible for you to. It must be one of these. Lots of boilerplate. What? Lots of boilerplate. Lots of boilerplate. Um, how many solutions on CPAN? Who can guess? Also, this time 10 to 20. Um, no, actually less than 10 even. Um, you can use uh, what, what you really like is if all the demos are there, you like it like this. Um, this is the nicest thing. You put this in all the demos and then now he think about, oh, I have to write a new demo. I have to copy these six lines or use a skeleton or something. No, but I have to write exactly what I want and my needs and my intents. Uh, this, that, this can be done really easily with this import method on your package. So it's really easy. It's not difficult. And these are some of the modules which will help you in this case. Uh, with ve just like the um, other syntax modules which I talked about in help, with varying level of craziness, uh, dangerousness, sweetness, etc. Um, st uh, still, as always in CPAN, there's lots of uh, similar things between them. You can see that it's pretty much developed uh, independently. Three minutes, right? So, uh, just another neat thing is, uh, who needs to pull local packages? Uh, what a good mechanism is that we heard about Pelbu in some mechanism, local some of uh, the Pelbu. What? Local lib. Uh, local lib, the module? Yeah. Module, yeah. Sets up an environment, you can like... I think, I, did I write it? Oh, no, forgot local lib. Okay. Well, there, there are some modules to sugarize that. Instead of these two lines, you can write that. This is the slide that my C++ roommate said, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> Desugarize. Who uh, here uh, em empathizes, uh, feels with his why, and feels, maybe, I, I can relate to him, he's a little, good. You're, little no? you're just nice to me, maybe. Um, okay, the, those command line uh, uh, sugar. Why would you need sugar in the command line? Command line, we like, uh, I need to take this file, uh, and get the second column, sum it, and uh, write it up. Why would I need to sugarize now? Well, Perl is already really good in sugar in the small, which I didn't talk about at all, because that's in the Perl books, like QW and stuff like that. Why would I need now, why would I need moose in command line? Why would anyone need moose in a command line? I, I'm not going to write a class now with the whole object oriented system in uh, the command line. Uh, we use it a lot. It, it's, it's, it's useful enough so they, it's written moose. 
uh, because to experiment, to <coughs> hack, to prototype. Say, I, I don't know, what is a uh, HTTP header? The unrelated to CGI, just ask the HTTP question, what is a legal HTTP header? It's a pretty easy way to get it. Uh, and here, you may want to use a combination of modules. Uh, check out uh, Toolkit, MyLib, and with class auto use. This is the most, one of the most dangerous modules on CPAN. Uh, you know the uh, Perl keyword use, which imports a module? Uh, with class auto use, you can use class auto use, and that's it. It will find all packages, and it does really even things like uh, installing things in your universal, so all objects have them, and it installs not only things in your universal, it installs auto load method in your universal. Uh, yeah, which is crazy. crazy. Um, just now, really quick, one bit, for uh, tiny uh, sugar in the small. Check this out. You, you have a hash. You have to access it. You need the curly brackets, right? You need the uh, maybe for in the, yeah. You need the curly brackets uh, with hash inflator. You don't. Who here has had this? I, I have an hash. Uh, navigating it. Oh, it sucks. I need to write all these curly brackets. And, and this is also nice because it's on the way to an object already. Um, uh, uh, related to that, I tiny neat little sugar, um, which is people write uh, in their TK sugar. Uh, he has constants for various hash key, for the various hash key value combinations. You can see how that dangerous that kind of thing. What is clear? Fill both and expand one, or x fill two, which is clearer. Uh, Builder sugar. Check out template declare. Uh, Moose has lots of sugar, but the heaviest, craziest thing in syntax sugar currently going on in CPAN. Um, is uh, the entire syntax feature, devel, declare, changing spell <laughs> syntax on the fly. Is there a better name for it? Mm -hmm. That's what I call it. I tend to call it syntax bending or semantics bending. Bending. Sy syntax bending. Who here has had this? A heel doc, a big string. I want it. I did like that. But I, I want it on one line. I don't want the new lines there. And I don't want it to be aligned like my code. I want it to be left aligned. Uh, QL operator does that. Uh, that's sugary. So not all things can be sugar. Um, but uh, go forth and uh, sugarize and come to Perl meetings because to the Perl Mongols meetings because we talk about these things a lot. Go <laughs> 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 <laughs>